assignment 10 a telecom company wants to generate reports on on the call details of the customers the rate of each call detail include the phone number which made the call phone number which was called duration of the call and the type of the call data of such calls are provided as a list of comma separated string problem statement complete the call detail class with necessary attributes complete the logic inside the parse customer method of util class this method should accept a list of string of the call details and convert it into a list of call detail object and assign this list as a value to the attribute of the util class it is very simple they made the given the class diagram very clearly call detail it is a plus uh, a positive sign uh, they have given which means the public data member but actually this assignment expects you to have all the attributes as private we need to use minus symbol so phone number call call to number duration call type and we have a constructor in which we pass phone number call number a duration call type as a parameter then we have util class which has a list of objects as an attribute then init method in which we have a method and then another method parse customer which will take list of call string call string as a parameter and process it and return so logic is very simple call detail we need to declare all the data member as a private we know that then util class we have list of call object as a data member uh, currently we are assigning it to none then we have parse customer it is a method we need to focus on parse customer takes list of uh, a call string as a parameter then we will take call by call one by one and we are uh, we are splitting it and passing it to a call detail as a parameter and creating a call detail object so we are creating an object storing it in the object reference variable obj then we are adding it to the list of call append using this then finally uh, we assign this list of uh, call objects to this 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 list is being assigned there itself otherwise you can directly use this list is list of call objects dot append you can directly use also both are fine let's visualize this so it is simply there string we are storing it in a list and passing it across now we are calling this parse customer method parse customer method goes up list of customer is local variable it is simply an empty list it has got none now we are we, are, we got the call string this is a call string which has uh, phone number, uh, call number, receive number, dial number, receive number, and duration and type of call. STDR, all that, it is fine. We are going to split one by one. Right? We have got another created empty list. You may use this list itself. List of uh, call string itself, you can directly use. That is nothing wrong in it. List of call object also, you can use. Nothing wrong in it. But now, we are using a temporary list of call. As a temporary object we are using, we are going to take this part alone, first part alone. We are taking it. Call detail, we are taking it up. Call detail. Then we are going to split. Split one by one. Uh, comma separated value. We are going to split and create a call detail object. We will have to do that. That is what we are doing. We are split it into four pieces. Then we are passing this parameter to create an object. Look at this. Call detail object. Now, call detail object is about to be created. It goes up. It is going to create an instance call detail call phone number uh, call number duration type of call all that is created now we have created a complete object from these values we have created a complete so we have taken a string converted into four pieces then we have taken value by value and calling it uh, using them to create a call detail object instance then we are appending it to the local list which we have right now Now we will append this object to list of call. Let's see where is list of call. List of call is here. It has got nothing. It is an empty list. We are going to append this list, this object to this. Look at this. So first index is created like this. So we are going to use second string. Do the same. Create another object. Instead, then add it to list of call. So we create an object. Now add it to the list of call. Look at this. So, 0th and first index. Third, take third string, process it, create an object. Once the object is created, then assign this to third index. Yes, we're done with that. Then finally, 
here assigning it to list of call objects is equal to list of call. To cut short, you can directly use list of call objects itself. So this is, it is assigned, then it is returned. List of call and list of call object. So list of call object is here. Both are pointing to same list. This is written value. This list is written. That's about it. It passes all the test cases.